some said it can't be done i went and watched a youtuber and i'll put his link at the bottom seba ducky i believe his name is he did a really good review on the up air so i wasn't getting good long video as soon as i would get out to about 50 meters i start getting um distortion and static on my screen so i really want to upgrade the transmitter for the video output and he put a great link in his review um to where to start looking so i went ahead and bought ready toski um it's for fpv uh, video transmitting and it was like 10 bucks on amazon and i'll also put the link on the description of anything i had bought so that was ten dollars and then i bought cloverleaf antennas you have to make sure that this is the female end so i think it's called uh, reverse polarization you have to remove the old antenna I cut mine in half because I couldn't, I didn't want to go through all the problems of trying to fit it through the hole. Here's my old transmitter. Got that black push button for channels. This one's rated very poorly. So remove that. This cable came, I didn't even have to use it. It's really plug and play with the old wiring that's in the actual drone itself. Bring it over. So there's a shot of my new FPV video transmitter. This is the casing that it goes in. It's just upside down so you can see how it's put in there. I don't know if you can. The sun's kind of bright today. I add a little hot glue to the connector. Just to make sure it stays in place. And you see this, um, the port that comes out of the FPV transmitter when you drill your hole you have to make sure it's either on the left or the right it's never gonna be in the middle so you want to set it up first kind of mark it up and then drill your holes as needed you, when you drill the hole you want to start with the smallest drill bit you can and it'll make it a lot easier because this is a pretty strong aluminum so once you have it in there I plugged up the antenna to it and I try to get the video feed there's a little push button that changes the channel right here once this LED on this side gave me like a three or four you can read the directions but I stayed at three then you have to go into your video transmitter I mean into your controller and on the back there's this little black nub you just pull that out and there's a button in there you start changing the channels on there until you get a good video signal on your LCD screen that's the upgrade so today I took it out for a test run and I was able to get 324 meters away from me without any video problems whatsoever and I went as high as 224 meters and I'll put a picture up on at the end of this video. Let's see if I can put it all back together. And there's just no way. Perfect. Make sure the wires are tucked in. There you go. Upgrade completed and tested okay. Thank you for watching this video.